Hello everybody, it's Rosie and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be making DIY car air fresheners. I have a car now and I've always wanted one of those, those like little dangly things but I don't want to buy one so I figured that we would make one here together. <laughs> uh, so if you have not already, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and let's get into the DIYs fam. For all of these DIYs, you are going to need essential oils. If you don't own any already, there's this set of four at Walmart and it is only $7, which is a pretty good deal. For this first DIY, all you're gonna need are clothes pins, a plastic baggie, and the essential oils of your choice. You're gonna start by just throwing a few of your clothes pins in that plastic baggie, and then you're just gonna throw a few drops of your preferred essential oils in there. I'm using orange essential oil and peppermint. Then you're just gonna wiggle those clothes pins around in your bag so they are coated in those oils and they can just absorb all of those pleasant smelling aromas. Once the clothes pins have sat in the baggie for an hour or so and they've absorbed all of those oils, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your car and you're gonna clip those clothes pins onto your heating vents and when the heat is on or your AC, it's just gonna blow those smells all throughout your car. This next DIY is a deodorizer as well as a car freshener. All you're gonna need is a mason jar and some baking soda as well as cardboard, a push pin, and of course, our essential oils. This DIY is super simple. All we're gonna do is fill our mason jar halfway with that baking soda. Then we're just gonna add a few drops of our preferred essential oils. I put in a few drops of orange essential oils as well as a few drops of peppermint. This next part is completely optional, but I also stirred in a handful of dried mint leaves that I had from my garden over the summer, but if you don't have these, don't even worry about it. Next, grab your mason jar lid and your cardboard. All you're gonna do is trace the mason jar lid out onto the cardboard, cut out the cardboard in the shape of the mason jar lid, and then all you're gonna have to do is stick it on top of your mason jar, just like it's a lid. All you gotta do next is grab that push pin and just poke a bunch of little holes in the top of the cardboard. This will allow the aromas of the essential oils to come through the cardboard and into your car. You can set this mason jar in one of your cup holders or it's the perfect size to go under your car seats, which is where I put mine, just so it's out of the way. Lastly, we're gonna be making a car seat spray. All you're gonna need is this little travel sized spray bottle. I found mine in one of my hair cabinets. Then you're gonna use some distilled water. I just boiled some water cause I didn't have any distilled water on hand. A little bit of rubbing alcohol. And of course, say it with me, our essential oils. All you're gonna do is fill up your little spray bottle about three quarters of the way. Fill up the rest of it with your rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol will just help the oil and the water stick together. And then just tap a few drops of essential oil on in there, stick your lid on and give it a nice shake. I think this one is pretty self-explanatory, but all I did was spritz it all over my car seats and it left the fabric smelling nice and fresh. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I had a really fun time making all of these DIY car air fresheners. All of the materials are like usually household items. If not, they're super cheap at the dollar store. So I hope you guys have a chance to make these. So I hope you guys have a marvelous day and I love you so, so much and goodbye.